are new here, welcome. My name is Kaya Moore. Here on this channel, I really love to give simple, easy tips on how to care for our natural hair. So ladies, now that it is getting warmer, I do wanna make sure that I pay a lot more attention to my curls, meaning when it's hotter, my curls tend to be a little more drier. So I really love doing wash and goes during the summer, like all the time. During uh, the summer, I just wanna make sure that I really hone in on my curls, keeping them healthy, keeping them strong. And then also to my hair is actually getting longer so I have to do more things to my hair and I'm going to show you in this video as far as just caring for it and really layering my hair strands. Um, when my hair was a lot shorter I was able to use one product and my hair stayed moisturized for like days. Now that my hair is getting longer my steps are a lot different now with my wash and goes and I just want to share that with you ladies. I am on a personal journey as far as just keeping my curls moisturized and just really healthy and I feel the more we focus on our hair strands the more growth we'll, we'll be able to experience and then also to who doesn't want healthy hair strands so I have been um, being more consistent I've just noticed a lot more healthier my curls are my hair feels really full and i that's the thing that I look for when it as far as like just caring for my hair even more so this summer you are gonna be seeing a a lot of wash and goes I love me some wash and goes it's like a wash and go summer <laughs> so stay tuned for that and of course I have a lot more in store remember I will be posting every Sunday and the month of May is coming to an end <laughs> and a month the month of May was just very busy for me I know I stated that in previous videos but it was now I'm able to push out these videos for you on Sunday so Sunday is our day ladies stay on the lookout for that I'm gonna stop rambling and let's get on to the video okay Okay ladies, so I am going to be doing something completely different. So remember I was just letting you know that my hair has been feeling a little more dry than normal and I am seeking out as much moisture as possible. Well, this is going to be a great tip. So as far as the leave-in, I am going to be using one of my favorite Shea Moisture leave-in or rinse out conditioner. Ladies, I love this um, leave-in. It's great and it really helps with um, elongating my wash and goes, meaning it just helps it stretch more and I don't have to worry about too much shrinkage. So basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to section my hair out. I did I think about five big sections and all I do is just saturate it with water first and then I apply that leave-in. Um, just really all over my hair. So the purpose of this method is once you soak your hair with the water and you put that leave-in on top of that water, the leave-in is actually going to absorb in your hair strands before you start the wash and go process. Um, this method has worked wonders for me in the past and I'm trying to bring back kind of um, old tips and techniques I used to do back in the day that really helped my hair stay fresh, moisturized, and honestly um, create uh, major hair growth. So I'm just really trying the old methods I used to do, especially like I stated before, we are entering in the hotter months and I just want to make sure my hair stays moisturized. So after I apply all that leave-in, I twist it up and the purpose of the two strand twist is to really lock in that leave-in in between the hair strands before we begin the process of the wash and go. Okay, so ladies, you know I had to start in the back first. I always like to start or really show you ladies uh, the beginning. I will do a full video where I do my entire head, but I feel that you see it better when I'm starting in the front. So what I do, I saturate that hair. Ladies, look, you see how the product that leave-in is already reactivating? That's what you want. So you soak your hair first, and then you're going to grab whatever smoothie you like, but I'm telling you, this combo is fire. 
So I use my favorite curl enhancing smoothie. This is my Old Faithful. This is a smoothie I will forever use. So you take that smoothie and you smooth it in your hair strands. Now you're putting it on top of that leave-in, which is creating more moisture. And then now you're going to take your favorite oil, oil of your choice, but I'm going to be using the Sky Organics, the castor oil, one of my faves. <laughs> then I'm going to basically seal it now. So I'm taking that oil. It's not only covering the smoothie, but remember it's covering and locking in that leave-in conditioner. So now you have major moisture. Now your hair strands are protected and you can apply the gel on top of those other products which will cause which will add a definition and it just locks in that moisture even more don't worry about the white um, product showing it will dry up very nicely so all I do now I'm gonna show you two ways of course you could do the soft coils definitely your choice um, this soft coil it just adds more definition it will help your wash and go last longer too so this is definitely a technique you can use whatever you're comfortable with it is one of my favorite techniques but if you are just literally like trying to get out the door I am gonna show you a different mess method that you can use as well Okay, so you're going to continue to do the same method all over your head. You want to make sure you're layering all your hair strands, very important. So this is the other technique that you can do. You can rake that gel and smooth it in between, um, smooth it on your hair and then I'm going to show you here. You could just smooth it and you don't have to coil it. And then what you're going to do is scrunch it afterwards. Now. I like, like I said, I do like to do the coiling method, but I am going to show you again. You can just smooth that gel and then you can crunch your hair or scrunch your hair. Um, that just adds more curl definition too. So I just did both. Um, I just wanted to make sure that this product was locking in my hair very nicely. And of course, when you scrunch your hair, you create more curl patterns too. So here I smooth that gel in. I rake it through, no shingling method or no coil method. And then all I do is just scrunch my hair now. And you can do that all over as well, okay? So I waited about 15, 20 minutes to allow my hair to air dry. Once that 20 minutes was up, I then go in and start diffusing. I can go into more detail in a future video on how I diffuse and the best ways to uh, keep your hair and your curls protected from heat damage most definitely can get into more details with that but basically you do want to start with the ends of your hair first and then you want to bring that diffuser up to the roots of your hair and that way your ends of your hair are staying nice and um, it kind of helps as an elongating method like it keeps your curls from uh, shrinking too when you start on your ends and then you get your roots. So you do have to be patient when it comes to diffusing. If you're like, that is not for me, of course style your hair overnight and allow it to air dry overnight and you'll still get the same results. Okay, so now my hair is 100% dry. I have volume and then I also have some length showing here. So I just wanted to show you really quick. Um, I needed a trim, like not horribly or dramatically bad, but I just noticed once my hair completely dried, there were a lot of little um, stringy pieces that needed to be snipped away. Now I personally, I'm, I'm going to be real ladies, I'm not going to create a video on how to trim natural hair only because I really believe that it's very important that you do seek out a professional. I do have a lady though that trims my ends, especially as my hair gets um, longer. I will be going to her so she can give me a nice thorough trim. but. Yeah, I just wanted to be honest and be upfront about it. I just snip off any straggly ends that um, that aren't good just hanging on there. So I just wanted to show you that really fast. 
but um that is pretty much it for this video i know that it was pretty fast and quick it's a great method things that you can add now to your wash and go routine especially in the summer and this was such a bomb 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 combo like i love these products together and i just had to show you my method that i have been doing so ladies stay encouraged do not give up on your journey have fun with products mix them around try new things and i will definitely see you next sunday thank you for watching i'll catch you later bye